hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to add seat and the group tags in the form view and what is the purpose of this two tags we will see in in this discussion with real task tags. and in case you missed previous discussion about what is the form view and how we can create a form view in odoo please check link is given in description one more thing is if you go to here in the channel if you go to here especially in this playlist here and you want to learn more about default supported views by the Odoo you can see this playlist and you can see all the real test cases. and if you are following this playlist then you don't need to follow any other Odoo related playlist because this is the main playlist and apart from this like you can see there is a two playlist also available python tips and editor tips and if you want to learn more about odoo with specific topic then you can review from here and there are different topics also available with real examples and let's say if you have any doubt and you need any support you can just go to about page and here you can see this is email address you can directly send your query to this email address so let's back to our main topic like how we can create these two button uh, these two tags like seat and the group so first of all like i am going to here in the student profile and let me open any of this student profile you can see like right now we have like this view right and if i duplicate one more tab and i am going to in cells part and i am trying to open any of the cells order you can see here the difference between these two views uh, don't compare the data compare the gui part like let's say if you want to add some space in left hand side in the right hand side plus the main all the fields you want to display in this box only then it is also possible using the seat comma uh, seat tab all right and let's say if you want to arrange some arrange your fields specific group wise like if if you see here the left hand side you can see the cells related fields here then after invoice related fields in right hand side here then after again in left hand side you can see another group is also visible for the reporting part it, it is visible like this it is also possible you can see like this using the group tag so how can we implement here in the student profile we will see in this discussion so let me go to in the editor let me open the view part in views views.xml file and now you can see this is the form view and in our last discussion we already discussed how you can create this form view so now like let's say if you want to add the add like this gui part like left hand side and right hand side uh, you need some space plus it will display in in this box only then we have to use the this command in after this form tag like we need to use sh double -E that's it and uh, here inside this tag like we have to mention all our fields including the group all right and that's it now like let's say i'm just trying to restart the service plus upgrade the module here don't confuse here like if i go to here in edit part uh, you can see this is my database and this is my module name to upgrade using this minus u command so i already configured this configuration in the pycharm so it will automatically manage by itself so i don't need to always go to in terminal and trying to mention that field name so these if you don't know how to do this configuration part that session also available in editor related playlist all right so our module already upgraded now i'm going to in browser and let me refresh the page so now you can see the left hand side and the right hand side having some space plus you can see in this square box our fields always display like this way all right so using this tag shwt -E whenever you use this tag it will display like this 
so now you can see you can compare like this all right like let's say left hand side we will see some fields then after right hand side we will see here some fields so how can we do like using a group tab so i'm going to again in pycharm you can see i already add here the group all right so let's say if i didn't mention the group and i always using this tag and after immediately i'm just starting to add some fields so what happened so let me upgrade the module and trying to refresh the page here you can see this label name invisible plus you can see it will display like this without labels so you can see here it's not look like appropriate right so let me add again this group and let's say I want to add one more group and here I want to display ID of this record and like let's say who created this uh, record plus the date all right and trying to refresh the page now you can see there is a two group already applied so you can see this is the first group and this is the second group all right so let's say here like if i want to display these fields in right hand side then what i had to do like simply like i'm going to here in the editor and i'm just trying to use this group structure in the parent child group system so right now you can see after this tag you can see this is independent group and uh, here this tag uh, this group also come uh, and right and after that you can see like a second group tag also started and it will finish here so right now what happened like it will display one by one so if i want to display like left hand side and right hand side then we have to add here parent child group so again i have to add here one more group and inside this group i have to write down these two group here like this all right so this is parent group and this is the child group here this both are the child of this main group here now i'm trying to upgrade the module now i'm going to browser refresh the page now you can see like this group showing in the left hand side and this group fields also showing in the right hand side so like this way you can add some attractive GUI part but let's say if you want to add like this like the cells then after this invoicing then after this reporting then how can I do so right now it's look like this like customer in the left hand side and the some fields in right hand side without any label name right so now we are doing like this way like uh, here we will add some specific label name so here like we will have some meaningful information understand this fields information here so let's go to here and you can see this is the first tag and this is the second tag now simply what we need to do is like group supports one one more attribute uh, which is having a string like this string like this and here like we have to provide some meaningful information here as a label name so like let's say student profile and here like student technical info so now what happened like in left hand side it's displayed this one above these fields and above these fields in right, right hand side you can see this label so let me upgrade the module and trying to refresh the patch so you can see student profile and student technical info 
so like this way you can add such attractive informations in the form view using the first tag as a seat and another is a group tag so i hope you understood how you can implement such attractive tags attractive view in the form view in case you have any doubt related to this discussion please comment below and see you in next session